Hi, so here we have the derivation for the formula of cos a plus b. As you can see, I have taken the same drawing which I have used to derive the formula for sin a plus b. Anyway, let's learn what this drawing is. C line OA is the baseline and any angle measured anticlockwise is positive angle. So I have drawn a line OB in such a way that this angle BOA is equal to A and then I have drawn a line OC in such a way that angle COB is equal to B. And then from point C, I have drawn a perpendicular CN on line OB. Then I have drawn a perpendicular from point C to line OA and CM is the perpendicular and NQ is a perpendicular from point N to line OA, right? And then I have drawn a perpendicular NR on line CM. And then we have also concluded that RNQM is a rectangle because this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees and this and R is a perpendicular on CM. So this angle is also 90 degrees. Angle NRM is 90 degrees and fourth angle has to be 90 degrees because the sum of all the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So in that way we have proved that R and QM is a rectangle. So this is all about the drawing. So now let's derive the formula for cos A plus B. A plus B is actually the angle COA or you can say COM in the triangle COM, right? This total is A plus B. So cos A plus B can be written as cos is based by hypotenuse. So OM by OC. This is equal to cos A plus B. But what is this OM? OM is actually equal to OQ minus MQ. This total is OQ and minus this much distance which is MQ is equal to OM. And why are we doing so? Because this angle A is actually the part of triangle NOQ. So OM can be written as OQ minus MQ divided by OC. This further can be written as OQ by OC minus MQ by OC. This MQ is equal to RN, the opposite sides of a rectangle. So this can be written as OQ by OC minus MQ I am writing as Rn by OC. OQ is this length and this OC is this length. Right? And if we talk about the individual triangles for angle A and angle B, OQ actually a part of triangle OCN where we have the angle B and OQ is the part of this triangle where we have angle A. Right? So, this is the common line. ON is the common line between both these triangles. So if I multiply and divide it by ON, the value of this term will remain same. Similarly, RN. RN is the part of triangle CRN where this angle is actually equal to angle A, C. Suppose let me call this point the point of intersection of line ON and CM as point D. Then we'll have two triangles, triangle ODM and CDN are actually similar triangles. See, this angle is equal to this angle, the vertically opposite angles. Angle CND is equal to angle OMD. Both of them are 90 degrees. So, Angle DOM has to be equal to angle DCN which is equal to A. And that is how we get this angle RCN is equal to A. Here we have seen this RN is actually the part of triangle RNC where this angle, angle NRC is 90 degrees and OC is the part of triangle O. And, C, and both of them have one line common which is CN. So let us multiply this by CN and divide it by CN. This will not change the value of the term. This can be written as OQ 
by O n multiplied by O n by O c minus R n by C n multiplied by C n by O c. So, O q by O n both are there in triangle O n q this triangle and O q by O n is actually the base by hypotenuse for this angle A. So, O q by O n can be written as cos A. O n by O c. O n is this line by O c is again the base by hypotenuse for the angle B in triangle C O n. So, this will be equal to cos B R n by C n. R n is the part of triangle C R n. R n by C n is perpendicular by hypotenuse for the angle A. So, this will be sin A C n by O C. C n is this and O C is this. These two lines are the part of triangle C O n. C n is perpendicular and O C is hypotenuse for the angle B. So, C n by O C can be written as sin B and what it is? It is actually equal to cos A plus B. So, this is the formula for cos A plus B. Cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B and this is the derivation. And after this, we are going to learn the derivations for sin A minus B and cos A minus B. So, keep watching Math Smart and bye bye till then.